so much like um, I'll see you a bit later on, yeah. 6.42. Yesterday we told you about how pensioners living in private retirement homes are accusing the companies that run them of ripping them off by charging over the odds for services. We've got a huge response on this from viewers and uh, many emails shared similar stories. Well now one of the firms involved has promised to look into the issues that have been raised. Esme lives in a retirement home and she's part of a growing campaign against the costs residents face for things like an on-site warden and a 24-hour monitoring system. We're worried all the time that the charges are going up and we just haven't got to be able to meet the charges for the numbers we're back to you. Around half of the private retirement developments in the UK are managed by a firm called Peveril and owned by Fairhold. They're both part of the same group of companies called Consensus. So yesterday morning we put these concerns to their spokesman. The issue that, that, we, that we can test is that it can be done at a much lower rate. Um, in cases where developments have gone right to manage, um, we have looked at the costs that are being charged overall to residents after um, the new management company has taken over and um, the reductions in costs are about 1-2%. to Well, the response we've had since we covered this story yesterday morning is one of the biggest we've seen. Viewers have been getting in touch by email, by text and by phone to tell us their concerns about how the retirement home industry is run. Henry Irving's email is typical of many responses. We pay high and increasing annual maintenance charges and feel we receive in return a poor level of service. A number mentioned rental charges for the house manager's flat, including GL Walsh. We're paying more than £11,000 per year when you can get better properties for half that price. After our broadcast, Consensus gave us a new statement. The points made by the programme have been listened to fully. We are conducting a comprehensive review of the issues raised in conjunction with our trade associations. We continue to welcome all constructive contributions. Briggs is one of the founders of Carlex, the campaign group involved. We're happy to hear there's going to be a comprehensive review in response to our campaign. We've been pressing for this for some time and we're hoping now that the uh, action will arise from the campaign, which will have a positive effect for all the retirement leaseholders. The company has also apologised for comments in yesterday's interview on Breakfast, in which the phrase dribbling geriatrics was used says it did not intend to cause any offence. Lucy Shepherd, BBC News. Time now, 